Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's place capacitors into a circuit. And capacitors can be hooked up in two ways. We can place them in series or we can place them in parallel. So let's first, and of course there can be com combinations of the two. But first let's place the capacitors in parallel. And by doing so we're going to find the total capacitance or the equivalent capacitance, the total voltage, the total charge, and the charge on the first capacitor and the charge on the second capacitor. So let's go ahead and work that out. So first the total capacitance and it turns out that when they're in parallel essentially you're adding the plates. Notice that this plate and this plate are all connected to the same positive side of the battery and so therefore they both will collect charge on it and by putting two in parallel you're essentially just increasing the size of the plate by adding the two together so the total capacitance is simply the sum of the two. It'll be C1 plus C2. That's simple enough. So in this case, that would be 6 microfarads plus 4 microfarads, which is 10 microfarads. That would be the total capacitance of the two capacitors in parallel. What about the total voltage? Well, it turns out that since these are parallel branches, each branch must have the same voltage on it since they're parallel, and they're parallel to the voltage supply. So therefore, the total voltage equals the voltage on the first capacitor plus the voltage on the second, oh, not plus, equal to the voltage on the second capacitor because they all have the same voltage, and so that means they all equal to 10 volts. Every branch has the same voltage on it, which is 10 volts. What about the total charge? Well, notice that the definition of capacitance is equal to the charge it collects over the voltage that pushes the charge on there. So therefore, we can then conclude that the charge on the capacitor equals the product of the capacitance and the voltage. So, the total charge is going to be the uh, total capacitance, C total, times the voltage. And so in this case, that's the total capacitance, which would be uh, 10 microfarads multiplied times 10 volts, which would be equal to 100 microcoulombs. So that's how you calculate the total charge on all the capacitors. But then you want to calculate the charge on each capacitor. So now use the same equation for each one. So this would be C1 times voltage 1. And uh, so this is equal to uh, 6 microfarads multiplied times 10 volts, because they all have the same voltage on it, which is 60 microcoulombs. And then for the second capacitor, that would be C2V2, which is 4 microfarads times 10 volts, which is 40 microcoulombs. And notice that when you add these two together, you get back to the total charge of both capacitors of 100 microcoulombs. So that's how you deal with capacitors when they're placed in parallel. On the next video, we're going to review what you do when they're in series. It's a little bit more tricky, so let's stay tuned and see what we have.